Ah, good morning. <laughs> Ooh, I know that sounded crazy. My phone. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Dugar, coming at y'all with another episode of Drop It Down with Mr. Dugar. <laughs> and this morning, I'm going to recap um, some news that happened with the Eagles yesterday. Um, we found out how much the Darius Slay extension was. We signed former LSU Tiger Greedy Williams. And late last night, the Eagles actually ended up getting a pretty solid backup quarterback in Marcus Mariota, yo. Um, and I'm going to just get my thoughts on um, what I think should happen next. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come highlight at your boy. Also, if you're a Madden player on Xbox One, I'll have my Xbox One gamer tag in the description box also. All right, man. Um, first off, Darius Slay, big play Slay, uh, gets big money. <laughs> Uh, three years, forty-two million dollar extension. Um, that's fourteen million a year. Um, you know that's technically more than what James Bradbury got. Uh, look, like I mentioned when I thought we were gonna let Slay go, I like Slay. Um, you know Slay has has you Slay is used to being a number one corner. Uh, Slay has been there for about five years or so now. Uh, even before he came to Philly. Um. And he's well respected around the league, and he's respected in the locker room. He's a team captain. Um, you know, he's getting a little older. Uh, Slay wasn't as good the second half of the year, and as a matter of fact, he was pretty disappointing after a tremendous start to the season, especially that Minnesota Vikings Monday night game when, let's face it, he shut down Justin Jefferson the way he was NFC Defensive Player of the Week. You know, I could think of some players, and I know we kind of nitpicking here, but uh, the loss to Washington, Terry McLaurin got the best of them. You know, um, we think about Dallas. He had a big holding call on a fourth down against T.Y. Hilton. Third on 30, where you can see is on Josiah Scott, whatever. I mean, he was in the vicinity. Gave up a touchdown against the Bears. The Super Bowl, you know, they didn't communicate, you know, the, um, the in and out routes to what led to you know, wide open touchdown passes in the flats. Uh, you know, and I, like I said, those are some nitpicking things. And obviously that's that's less than what a lot of corners in this league give up. But his production dipped a little bit. And, you know, we was looking at it like, okay, we're going to keep James Bradbury. We're going to let Slay walk. Then, hey, we could draft a corner at number 10 and save some money. Um, but look, I'm not gonna lie. I'm happy that he's back as far as I don't know what's about to happen with Chauncey Gardner Johnson, which I'm about to get into in, in, in a, a, a few, but worst case scenario to know that we got Darius Slade, we got James Bradbury, at least for a year, you got to at least expect one, maybe two more years of high level cornerback play. Now, after that, it, they're going to start getting a little longer in the two. Um, but you have at least one more year, maybe two of high level cornerback play. And don't forget, you got Avante Maddox in the slot, who's one of the better nickel corners in this league. So when you look at it with Slade, Bradbury and Maddox, um, especially going up against this schedule we got this year, as far as the opponents, you know, we do play Mahomes again. Uh, we got Josh Allen. We may get Aaron Rodgers if he gets traded to the Jets. You know, we got Dak, um, you know, Kyler Murray, if he's healthy, um, you know, hey, we got some, we played some solid quarterbacks this season, you know, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that's the whole key there, man. Um, I like the secondary. Then, uh, in a move that, that kind of surprised me a little bit, we brought in Greedy Williams. Um, look, Greedy didn't necessarily have a huge impact on the Cleveland Browns, you know, it was a second round pick, um, but... Greedy is still young. Greedy has really, really good upside. Greedy runs a 4-3. Greedy is, is, is lanky with long arms. And like I said, the big thing, Greedy's younger. So if we do decide to move on from Bradbury or Slay in a year or so, you know, we could kind of keep Greedy around to be one of those outside corners if we develop him the right way. Um, the skill is there. Like going into his last year at LSU, he was – projected to be a first-round draft pick. Now, for, for other reasons, you know, he slipped to the second round. But 
Um, I like it, especially from a depth uh, standpoint, because let's be honest, we were very fortunate that Slade and Bradbury were extremely healthy last year. Like those guys didn't, that hasn't always been the case with them the prior, the prior years before that, you know, um, but they were completely healthy. They were there every week. So if one of them kind of gets banged up a little bit, we know we got greedy. We could put on the outside. I don't really necessarily know if he's capable of playing the slot or not, but you know, we can at least have him on the outside. Um, now what's next is the Chelsea Gardner Johnson situation. He's still out there. Uh, he's talking about how he feels disrespected. Uh, clearly, the market is not allowing him to make the money that he thought he was going to make. So that could be a good thing for the Eagles. Because, look, if you tell me we're going to have Darius Slade, James Bradbury, Avante Maddox, Greedy Williams, and Chauncey Gardner Johnson in the slot, I am ecstatic about that. Um, I feel like Reed Blankenship could maybe play the other safety role opposite of Chauncey Gardner Johnson. So uh, we're going to see what happens with that. Um you know, I'm just looking at and I'm hoping that a deal like to say the Fletcher Cox deal don't cost us. You know, I hope that doesn't cost us uh, Chauncey Gardner Johnson. So we're going to see what happened with that. People tweeting things that he took down his his, his bye bye Philly video and put a picture of him in Eagles. You never know. He could be playing with us. So hopefully today or in the upcoming days, we're going to know what's up with that situation. And like I said, if we bring him back. And a young playmaking safety um, that we got uh, with, uh, we'll have probably, we'll have on paper to meet the best secondary in the league. Um, and then another story late last night, man, uh, which was something we were starting to think is funny because yesterday Gardner Minshew signed with the Indianapolis Colts, which I think none of us were sad about, to be honest with you. So um, we signed Marcus Mariota. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, Mariota is somebody who started in this league. He started last year. Now, he wasn't a great starter last year, but he's someone who started in this league, uh, has experience, and he has a somewhat similar skill set to Jalen Hurts as opposed to Minshew where you had to kind of change the whole offense when Hurts went out for those couple of games. With Mariota, you could still kind of run the same offense. Mariota is a quarterback that uses his legs as well. Um, and... <laughs> I just think it's funny being a long Eagles fan, and I think back to the Chip Kelly days, the draft night when, you know, it was a lot of reports that Chip was going to give up, you know, our future the next 25 years to get Marcus Mariota over there. Um, and he had to give up everybody and their firstborn sons to get Mariota, and it didn't happen. And I'm glad it didn't because Mariota was not what he, Chip thought he was. Um, but it's funny that he is in an Eagles uniform now, and it's going to be our backup quarterback. And I'm, 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 I'm solid with that, man. I like Mariota as a backup. I really do like him a lot as a backup. Um, you know, I thought about Matt Ryan, but I'm like, man, Matt Ryan is cooked. He's old. He, you know, I thought about the Joe Flacco situation. And it was terrible. So I didn't really necessarily want to go that route again. Um, but, you know, I'm glad to have Mariota aboard, man. I think he's uh, going to be a real, real solid quarter, uh, backup quarterback for us in this system. Um, another thing we're waiting on is the Jalen Hurts, because speaking of quarterback, the Jalen Hurts contract. Now, granted, it doesn't take into effect this season. Like, his, his contract will not affect the Eagles' salary cap for the 2023-2024 season, but it'll start to kick in the following year. But it's still interesting to see uh, what his number going to be and how it's going to impact, you know, what we do going forward. Because eventually, look, Howie kept a lot of older players, man. Howie brought back Kelsey, Graham, uh, Cox, you know, um, Slay. He brought all these guys back. He did let TJ Edwards walk out the door. He let Javon Hargrave walk out the door. So eventually the Eagles are going to have to get younger. Like, these guys eventually ain't going to be able to play no more. Now, where I'm at now as we stand today, depending on what happens in the rest of the free agency period, I think the number 10 pick is going to go on a defensive tackle. Um, I think was what the Eagles are, are hoping happen is Jalen, because of the off-the-field issues, and, of course, we hope that he's exonerated and he really has no fault in the situation. Prayers to the, to the victims involved, by the way, at Georgia, but... That if he does kind of like a Warren Saps type of slip because of something off the field, 
that the Eagles could grab him at 10. We get Jalen Carter. I'm, if we keep Charleston Gardner Johnson and we draft Jalen Carter at 10, you, hey, let's start the season. That's how I feel. But we'll see. Um, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly Eagles, fly.